What's up guys, my name is Kreark, and this is my guide to the new dungeon, Battle of Greystone Fortress in Legend Mode. Now, generally, I never feel the need to cover dungeons because most, if not all, are pretty simple and pretty easy. This dungeon is pretty easy too in that you can muscle through it until bosses die, but there are some interesting mechanics and strategies that make this dungeon feel a little more thought out than the others. So, let's begin. Boss 1, Strategy. In this fight, you get a poison resistance buff that stacks up to 4 in this fight when your group members stand next to each other. If people walk away from each other, the stacks get lower and the boss poison attacks hit harder. The interesting mechanic is if you summon out a pet, the poison resistance buff will count your pet as an extra player and it will stack beyond 4. When this happens, the boss poison beam will heal you instead of hurt you. Second thing, right after the poison beam, a boulder will spawn right after the red danger circle. Kill it as fast as possible or the boulder will explode and deal a ton of damage to everyone. When you kill the boulder, it will stun the boss for a couple of seconds. Repeat all of this until the boss is dead. Boss number 2, Strategy. The boss will stay in the center and will cast a lightning wall that spins around him throughout the fight. Avoid it if you can, but it doesn't hurt too bad if you do get hit. The boss will also summon a phantom throughout the fight and become invulnerable in that time. Barrels will also spawn and your job is to kite the phantom next to the barrel, kill the barrel, and it will explode more than 80% of the phantom's health. After the phantom dies, you do not need to kill the other barrels. They won't hurt you. Repeat this until the boss is dead.
And that is Battle of the Greystone Fortress in Legend Mode. Like I said earlier, you can muscle through this dungeon and spam buttons, die, return, and repeat until the bosses are dead. Uh, having a monk or warrior to tank will make these runs even easier. But the mechanics and strategies are there for the oddball group setup, like three mages and one ranger. Hope you guys enjoyed this guide. And before someone asks, I have not forgotten the mage inscription guide. Uh, the update has changed a lot of things, so I do need time to figure things out to be able to give relevant information. Anyways, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome content, and I'll see you guys next time.